Thanks. Ms. Espinal and Ms. Zaylor, I've read your complaint. I've read your answer. Let me see if I understand this. You were living in Texas. Yes, ma'am. You're originally from New York. Yes, ma'am. And you came to New York for a job interview with the defendant. Correct. And she hired you. You left Texas. Mm -hmm. You lasted two weeks on the job. You were fired. Mm -hmm. And you're seeking three, three thousand dollars in damages. Yes, ma'am. Well, first, tell me what kind of job was it that you had with the defendant? I, I was supposed to be hired for a, an administrative assistant and also... What uh, kind of business? I said for a jewelry store, for a jewelry uh, showroom. And uh, she hired me as an administrative assistant and uh, she also needed somebody who had some sales experience, which I do. That's not true. I didn't hire you for that purpose. All right, we're going to get to your side of the story in oh, a minute. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, the, t the interview lasted 10 minutes. They told me everything that, that was expected from me. And uh, there was no references checked, nothing. And uh, I made the decision and I moved to, to New York because I thought it was going to be a better opportunity for me. So you left Texas. Everything. What was in Texas? My life. Uh, I had a job. I had my boyfriend that I was uh, with for five years. How much were you, you making at the job in Texas? I was making $400 uh, uh, a week. And how much were you making at this job? It was uh, $400 also. And the reason why I took the job for so little is because Again, she led me to believe that there was going to be better opportunities in the future. So you left your boyfriend I, and, your, and your life to come to New York I, for I, a job I left at the same apartment. salary? Yes, I left my apartment. Okay. I left everything, sold my car, because what he had said to me that with training, within a year, I would be making about $60,000. If everything worked out? If everything worked out. You didn't have a contract with him? No, ma'am. So you, and you understood that you could have an employment contract. Did you ask about an employment contract? No, I was overwhelmed and so happy that she hired me so fast that I just, you know, I accepted the position. But well, you know what an employment contract is. Yes, I do. And you didn't have one? No, no ma'am. Okay, what happened uh, after two weeks? She just came in and fired you? Well, uh, the first week I was there, uh, she was getting prepared for market. Everything was a disaster. Nothing was in place. Um, That's so, uh, what happens before market, Judge. Right. You have to get everything in place, so right. it would be a disaster. Right. It was a complete disaster. I mean, everything was unorganized. Uh, the first thing I needed to do is get myself organized so I can see what I'm doing and I can understand, you know, the job that I'm performing. But I, every time I try to do something, I was pulled by either her um, or whatever to do different things. And I was never able to finish the job that she originally had asked me to do. Okay. So she came in and fired you? Well, she came and fired, uh, the second week it was market. Market was not, didn't go as well as she expected. And the second day after market was finished, she came and fired me. In the meantime, in the two weeks that I was there, she didn't express any, any reasons to me that she was unhappy with me That's until the true. day. Were you, were you uh, living with your mother at this time, according no, to this? No, I was living with a friend of mine that I was trying to, uh, he was letting me stay in his apartment and I was paying him $450 a month. So until I found an apartment, until I get myself settled and everything, because I... Because it says in your, in your complaint that now you're living with your mother. Now I'm living with my mother because I have no place to live. And I haven't lived with my mom since I was 18 years old. I've been on my own. Mm -hmm. And it's very uncomfortable. My mom right now is going through a lot of things. Well, why don't you go back to your boyfriend? Because I'm not seeing him anymore. When did you break up with him? Before I left. Let me hear. What happened? How come you fired her? I fired her because she was incompetent and she wasn't doing the job I needed to be done. Uh, I spoke to her several times about her lateness in the morning. She... How late? Uh, 20 minutes, a half hour, talking on the phone constantly. I spoke to her about that. The uh, piece de resistance was I gave her a Federal Express letter to mail and I found it on the desk the next morning. And I said to her, what is happening here if you can't even mail something that is so important I'm sending Federal Express overnight delivery and it's still sitting on the desk. Do you remember that incident? Yes, I do remember that incident. And the, the Federal Express that she's talking about were 300 copies that she it wants... It doesn't matter how many copies. Listen, listen. there were 300 copies that uh, uh, there was missing some information from Federal Express. She originally had told me to call Federal Express and sit on the phone so that Federal Express people can get me this information over the phone. They said, there's no way we can do this. 